We can also route pipe using our existing PNIDs. Now, of course, this is not an automatic feature where you just click on the PNID and all the pipes are routed for you. As you know, the PNID is not about the placement of pipe, it's more of a schematic diagram. So let's take a look at how this works. If you'll go ahead to your uh, home tab, in Plant 3D in the Home tab, we'll go to Part Insertion, and you're going to see a tool here that's going to be PNID Line List. Plant PNID Line List is the command that you could type in if you prefer to do it by dynamic mode or by command line entry. And I'm going to go to this line that is 1038, and I'm going to go ahead and choose this line right here. Uh, this line right here is going to contain a three-inch line, which is a carbon steel 300. We have uh, our line type and our line number on there. To place it, all we have to do is draw out the placement of our line as we normally would with our compass. I'll go ahead and I'll enter that. I'll zoom into here and as I hover over this, you'll be able to see that this matches exactly the information that was given on the PNID. Now, you're not limited to only drawing pipe here. As you can see in the PNID, you also had a gate valve that was there. So we can go ahead and we can place that gate valve. We go ahead, I'm going to use my nearest snap to get onto here. And then I'll use my compass to go ahead and place that. So now if we go ahead, I'll hover over this so we can see the properties. And you can see that we have the same spec, same size, and it is the same exact valve that was used in the PNID.